Hi everyone, I'm Ellie from Code of the Future and today we're going to cover the question, what is Python? So first of all, it's worth saying that the world around us is technology heavy. No matter where you look, everyone is on their smartphones or on their computers and you can find technology absolutely everywhere. So when you are on the smartphones or the computers, you will find technology absolutely everywhere. From the apps you use on your phone or the websites you visit, even the games you play, you find technology absolutely everywhere. Now, all of these aspects of technology would not be possible without a programming language. And that's where I come on to talk about Python. So Python is a programming language. Essentially, a programming language comprises of a series of inputs, which then return a series of outputs. A little bit like a calculator where you'll input some numbers and then it gives you an output. A programming language is like that. You can code such that this Python file or whatever programming language file you use will produce a desired output. So all of these websites you see on your computer, they have code behind them, which obviously produces the output of a website. So that's a bit of an overview of what a programming language is. Very simply, I understand this video is going to be quite a simple version of what Python is, just so if you're a beginner, you can understand the basics of Python and what it is used for. Now, another great thing about Python is it has many graphical user interfaces, which means you can find one that suits you and code in it. So on this channel, we're going to be covering Spider, PyCharm and Visual Studio Code. All of my videos will be done in PyCharm, but just to get a taster of what the other graphical user interfaces are like, I'm uploading videos on both Spider and Visual Studio Code as well. So those are types of graphical user interfaces and they're just places that you can code Python in. So what can Python be used for? Python can be used for a whole range of different applications. So Python can be used for data analysis, machine learning, artificial intelligence, web development, game development, you name it, it can be used for a whole variety of different applications. And that's what makes Python so perfect as a programming language because it extends to a variety of different areas within the technology sector. And that's why on this channel, we're going to be coding in Python and showing you what things you can be doing in Python, just because it's one of the best languages you can learn out there because of its incredible applications and how easy it is to pick up as a programming language. So why do we choose to program in Python? And obviously that is a really imperative question because there are so many other coding languages out there you may think, well, well why is Python the one that we should be learning? First of all, it is incredibly easy to pick up compared to other programming languages. If you're watching this and you do have some familiarity with other programming languages, you'll understand what I mean by that. But Python is incredibly easy to pick up as a beginner and it was the first language I actually learned. Python gave me a solid foundation for when I wanted to move on to learn other programming languages. So that's one reason why we choose to program in Python, especially if you are a beginner because it is so easy to pick up. Another reason why we choose to program in Python. Now Python does actually run slower code compared to programming languages like Java. So although Python programs usually run slower than programs like Java, they take a much less time to develop, which is perfect because it means that you can code a lot quicker and a lot more efficient. The syntax in Python is also perfect, which means it's so easy to pick up and there are so many different shortcuts in Python, which I absolutely love. Python also involves things called packages, which means you can incorporate loads of different elements within Python. They have built-in functions, which means it saves your coding tasks. You don't have to write all these really long functions. Python already has them built in, which I think is perfect, especially if you wanted to go into data analysis. You'll probably come across pandas and numpy, and honestly, those two packages themselves, I absolutely love just because it speeds up the whole data analysis process. Obviously, don't worry if you don't know what that means right now, but we will be moving on to that later on this YouTube channel. So Python has a whole range of capabilities and I'm so excited for you on this channel to learn more about Python and how you can code in Python. So this video was just basically to give you a bit of an overview of what Python is capable of. It's very short, I understand that. I will be putting some links in the description box just to send you to some resources if you want to find out more about Python. But that is the video today. I really hope you will join me on this channel where I'll be teaching you how to code. If you are interested in learning how to code, especially in Python, then hit the subscribe button and hit the bell button with it so you don't miss out on a tutorial. And I will see you all in the next video.